Bismillah rahman rahim So let us look at series and parallel combinations of uh, impedances. Series and parallel impedances. So for example, let's look at uh, a combination of uh, impedances Z1, Z2, and so on till Zn connected in series to a voltage source V, right? So let's assume the voltage drop here across Z1 is V1 represented using a phaser. This is V2. This is phaser voltage, right? And here the voltage is Vn. So according to KVL, Kirch's voltage law, the sum of uh, voltage drops is equal to the uh, sum of voltage rises. A uh, sum of all the voltages in a loop is zero. So the voltage rises is this V bar is equal to V1 plus V2 and so on till Vn. So let's assume there is a current I which flows here. Right? So the V1 is equal to I multiplied by Z1. V2 is equal to I multiplied by Z2. So we can write this like this here i z1 plus i z2 and so on till i n z n right so sorry this is i i is the same for all the this is series current uh, uh, this uh, this current flows uh, through the combinations in series so the current is the same for all the uh, impedances current i is the same here same here same here so uh, we could just write like this i we can take this common z1 plus z2 and so on till zn right so this is v bar over i bar and this is the equivalent uh, impedance of this circuit V bar over this is total current I bar this is the equivalent impedance and that that is then equal to Z1 plus Z2 and so on till Zn so like uh, a resistive uh, uh, circuit uh, the impedances in series their equivalent impedance is given by their sum so Z equivalent here is equal to Z1 plus Z2 and so on till Zn. But we must keep in mind that each Z is a complex number, right? So uh, this is the addition of complex number. This equivalent impedance will also be complex. Let us now consider uh, Combination of impedances in a parallel. For example, let's assume a current source here, right? I, and we have a number of impedances connected in parallel. let this be z1 let this be z2 and let this be z n here and uh, let a current i1 flow here and i2 here and i n here all right and uh, the voltage drop across all the combinations uh, as these are in parallel will be the same let it be v so according to the Kirchhoff's uh, current law, 
according to the Kirchhoff's current law, KCL. Uh, this current I will be equal to I1 plus I2 plus IN. So this current I1 is given by V divided by Z1. This I2 is given by V divided by Z2 and this IN is given by V divided by A. Zn. So we can write it like that. Uh, v divided by Z1 plus V divided by Z2 and V divided by Zn. And uh, this V can be taken as common one. This this will be uh, one over Z1 plus one over Z2 and so on 1 over Zn. So uh, we can write it like that i over v bar which is basically uh, uh, the admittance y bar or uh, uh, one which is the reciprocal of the equivalent uh, impedance this is the equivalent impedance uh, equivalence admittance so this admittance is reciprocal of uh, uh, impedance so uh, this is equal to uh, 1 over z1 plus 1 over z2 and so on till 1 over zn so in other words the equivalent impedance of this circuit as seen from here this equivalent impedance is given by 1 over z1 the reciprocal of the impedance right 1 over z2 and so on till 1 over zn so the for the parallel combination this uh, relationship is true or we can write like this like it like this in the form of admittances 1 over z is equal to the admittance so this is 1 over z1 is can be written as y1 right the admittance of uh, the corresponding admittance here y1 plus y2 and so on till yn so the equivalent admittance here is equal to the sum of all the admittances here 